education. We will ensure that basic education is free and we will drive it aggressively because we have 20 million out of school children in the North. Could I have said I'll deal with, we will deal with decisively because those children mostly have learned Quran, which means they're intelligent. We will meet them at the point of learning Quran and teach them skill. For the tertiary education, we must find a way to fund it in a collaborative way, public partnership, in order to be able to ensure that four years will be four years, not what is happening today. That's what we mean by that. And it will be, you'll see, it's a win-win situation. That's a, no, not the basic. It won't be the basic. Then, issue of barely servicing our debt. We're not, I've said it before, we're not the only country that have come through this. Once we move from consumption to production, what we're going to do first is that what you see today when I to service our debt is because of physical rascality. You're paying on sustainable subsidy which we stop from the one because it's criminal thing. You're no longer generating money because they're still stealing with oil. And the only people who can steal oil are people in, in government because ordinary people cannot steal oil. You can put it in your pocket. It's something that you come with sheep. So all those, and you stop corruption, the waste, everything. And you go to seek to ensure that the revenues of government are These are things, when you have tightened all the leakages and waste, you'll be able to increase your position and you negotiate and be able to service that. Let me just give you an example. Nigeria is today the only non, the only OPEC nation, apart from Venezuela, because of fashion that is not meeting up its quota. Because over the years of all your theft, the multinationals and everything have not been invested, coupled with the theft and everything. You're not realizing what you're supposed to. Every other nation that is in the same condition was able to bring down their rate and inflation within this period of Ukraine war. I'm not saying it's good to wait for war, to be able to get more revenue, but people are taking advantage of it you know, because it's there. And you can't run away from it. But we couldn't take that advantage. Our situation got, got worse because of poor management of our own physical space, which will change with that than I. And finally, like I said, somebody said, she kept telling me that issue that our people have been saying that if I become president, now there will be, then there's issue of being, uh, how do I say, what word do they use? Stingy. Pardon you, pardon you the question of stingy. How are you going to manage because they said you'll be stingy and everything? And let me say it publicly that people don't know what it is all about. The heart of poverty is capital formation. And you can't go about, about capital formation without savings. Even in the most developed world, which is why I say that Japan owns the highest amount of US treasury. If you listen or you go and read about what Professor Ragnar Nask done in the 50s, he showed it clearly. Capital formation is a heart Poverty. Without capital formation, you have low productivity, low income, and you produce poverty all over the place. What I was doing as governor, I was the best governor in Millennium Development Goals by the UNDP. You can go and check that. Uh, Is that? 
I had the, I won a prize for the best road network. I want the gift prize back to back on health. You can go and see what I did in health. Do scratch, teaching hospitals and everything. Improved number one in education. And above all, I was able to save because I believe in future generation. If you look at that saving, I said future generation funding because we want to have upper capital formation to drive tomorrow. If I have opportunity in Nigeria, no matter what we do, we'll do the same thing. We must save for tomorrow. Because that's how you form capital to turn around tomorrow. So as an end, I appeal to all of you. There's nothing more powerful than our idea whose time have come. This is for The time today is to have competent leadership with character, commitment and compassion. And that's what Nigeria is yearning for. That's what I, Dati and I are offering you. Let's have opportunity to build a better Nigeria. Thank you. A, a couple of announcements. First of all, INEC chair speaking here tomorrow, same time, one o'clock. You're welcome. It's also going to be live streamed. NNPP presidential candidate Wednesday, same time. And finally, again, just to Thank Peter Obi for coming to Chatham House and uh, good luck in your campaign. And please, if you can just remain um, seated or on the side while Peter Obi leaves. Thank you very much and have a good afternoon. Okay. We've got lots of press waiting for you.